Could you tell I have a phalloplasty made from my forearm? Just by looking at my arm from this side? You barely can. You can see a scar here and here. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you why some scars go all over your arm and you have like a small strip of your normal skin and some look like this. So if you decide to go for phalloplasty, which is an RFF phalloplasty, RFF, radial means they go around, forearm is your arm, and the flap. Flap is the skin draft which is taken from your arm and rolled together to make a new penis. There are actually two methods of performing the RFF phalloplasty. One method is called the tube in tube method and the other one is called prelimination. The tube in tube method is rather the two stages method. It means you don't have to have any preparations before you have the actual surgery, which is the phalloplasty surgery. What they do is they take the full skin graft from your forearm and they go all the way around like they only take a small stripe of your skin here and take it all out and then I'm gonna show you it on an example with a piece of paper here. We have one side which is the skin and this will be the other side. This is very much simplified, okay, so that you just understand what's going on. They take this skin out of your arm with some vessels, with a nerve hopefully, which they will connect later on with the clit nerve. They form a tube, which will later become your urethral channel, like this, with the skin on the inside, like this. Okay, and sew it here. And then, because we want to have a penis with the skin outside, right? They turn around and go around this new urethral channel like this and sew here. So now we have a bit of paper which is too much. And this is why it's called tube and tube. You have a tube inside of a tube. It is understandable then why they need to have this much extra skin. And this will be extra skin taken from here. The prelimination method is done differently. They take a smaller piece out of your arm. And this piece they take from somewhere else. It could be taken from your belly, in my case it was taken from my inner thigh, it doesn't really matter much. Important is, it's a piece of skin, full grafted skin, which is later to become your urethral channel. It's called prelimination because they take the skin, they roll it, I'm sorry, of course, like this, with the skin part, inwardly, like this, Sew it together so it becomes a tube, then they make a hole here and here, dig a tunnel, take a silicone tube, not a pan, a silicone tube, put it inside so that you can have both ends showing and tunnel it inside of your skin underneath your arm skin then they sew the skin here to your skin of your arm and here and you have to wear this tube in your arm for half a year or maybe nine months so it heals properly you have to take out the tube every day and wash it through wash the tube 
wash your um, channel, which is going to be the urethral channel. Well, I hear you say, what the? You have to wear a tube under your skin and wash it. Yes, that's the downside. But the upside is, one, to start with, actually, that you have less skin in your fore forearm used. The other huge upside is that the complication rate with the premillamination method is much less. The complications like fistula and strictures, urethral strictures. Those are the most common complications associated with phalloplasty. The skin for the tube for prelamination can be taken either from some area on your belly or your leg or somewhere else, or some doctors also use the vaginal skin, which is taken out during colpectomy or also called vaginectomy. This might be a great idea because you're using your own material, which is already used to liquids like urine and others. On the other hand though, it is not so common to use this. It's, there is not so much experience using that kind of skin for that, skin graft. If you know surgeons and, cl and clinics who do these and these kinds of surgeries, please write them in the comments below under this video. I think this kind of information really helps the community to grow and to support its members. Now, this step. I don't have this step and I don't have any problems with the blood circulation in my hand or wrist. Why? Well, why does it, this step actually occur? It can occur in people who are a little bit bigger because there is more under skin fat tissue which I don't really have. The downside of not having a lot of fat tissue is the girth of my phallus is becoming smaller or is smaller com if compared to people who have more fat tissue under their skin. There are two types of skin grafts which can be used to close the wound on your forearm. One type of skin is the full skin graft, which is normally taken from your thigh. In my case, it was the superficial skin and that is why you can see this kind of net. They use this technique also for burn casualties. And I actually do have a little step kind of here because the skin on this in this area kind of sticks there. And here's also a nerve. Like the edges I have personally is like if I touch here, I feel it a little bit like when I touch here, you know, when the nerve goes. This is when the nerve actually goes. So problems which you could also have, and this goes away actually with time in my case, but other problems you could have with a full skin graft is that unlike this thin skin graft, it will really press against your forearm, restricting the lymph fluids flow or blood flow or even muscular movements. So ergotherapy, physiotherapy is very important after such surgery. Consult your doctor. I hope this video was useful for you and I could clear those things up for you, those two things. This is what I wanted to share with you today. I'm also a life coach. I help trans people to learn to love themselves no matter how far they are in their transition or if they transition at all. I also help people to understand if they need to transition or if they do detransition to cope with the things which arise there. So please go and check out my Instagram and don't hesitate to write me a direct message. Stay awesome and see you next time. Bye-bye.